So today is my reel and TikTok day. So I have three reels that I want to film and three TikToks. So my TikTok um, is actually the on the trend TikTok and I actually use that to be more for like, you know, business talk and uh, just kind of providing value with everything that I learn as I run my own business so I love sharing that type of stuff but I feel like YouTube is not really the platform for that for me because I love vlogging on YouTube and Instagram is not really the platform either for me because I love to post my outfit pictures on there and you know share like my beauty and my fashion interests and everything like that so I felt TikTok was the perfect place for that and there's actually something called small business tiktok which i'm trying to get on okay so i just wrote down all of the basically all of the fashion items that i need to pull out of my closet so i can film these um i actually came up with an idea of instead of doing one video which has to be 30 seconds of recreating five outfits i'm actually gonna keep each outfit in one video and make it like a series so today i'm going to film five reels and then we'll see if I'm gonna end up filming the two other reels as well. I have my list over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull all the items out of my closet. I'm pretty sure just all of my white pieces need steaming. And my jeans need like ironing honestly mmh, beauty about ironing stuff for taking pictures I actually don't have to worry about the back at all because that's not gonna show so all I do is I just iron the front hi guys okay so I just finished filming basically all of the reels and I still have the TikToks to film but I think the TikToks are gonna be a little bit easier because I'm basically just explaining you know the apps that I use and you know things that I've learned and stuff TikToks are always easier because there's always less pressure I don't know if you guys are uh, feeling that but on TikTok it's like very casual to create content but I feel like on Instagram it's like a whole nother ball game you know but anyway I'm in I'm really enjoying TikTok right now so and I'm enjoying like creating content for it and everything so yeah I just have that left and Adam's gonna finish work at um four he's gonna finish work at four and he likes to come home and find food i try to make like the most i try to let's see create the most content that i can with what i have and during my day and stuff so it's getting pretty dark right now and i'm not sure why it's only three o'clock so i think it's gonna start raining or something now that basically everything is put away. Wow, it's getting very dark. I need to turn on some lights. Hold on. I also need to drink water. I haven't been drinking enough water, so I need to drink more. Also, I got a new phone. I'm so excited. So the phone that I had before was the iPhone 10 Pro. So it was the smaller one, the smaller size, and this is the 12 Pro Max, so it's way bigger. Like, I feel like I'm holding an iPad. It's crazy, but I love it. I love the size, and especially because I'm, like, creating content and constantly taking pictures on my phone all day. So this is amazing because I just feel like I have a way bigger screen. It's just so much better. So I love it, and it's double the uh, storage, the memory that I had. So um, I have around... Let me know if you guys... Are experiencing the same thing but on my photos album I have uh, 43,000 pictures 43,000 pictures that's insane I 100% ran out of data in my old phone so my pictures were being stored on my iCloud but now we are all Gucci baby 
I just took these pictures for my accessories. I'm loving like the dark theme and I don't want it to end. Like I love the dark theme. I think I'm gonna post them on my stories. I always have to post stories on On The Trend because if I don't post stories then we don't get sales. So it's like my efforts like directly affect our sales. So I always have to post stories. And I'm trying not to post so much like of me. I also want to post more people so I'm gonna plan some shoots with some of my friends so that we can take uh, pictures of them wearing the sunglasses <coughs> well pictures of them wearing the sunglasses and pictures of them wearing the accessories as well so that it's not just constantly me on the Instagram it's also other people <laughs> Hi guys, okay, so it's the next morning and before I end this video, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about kind of like my nail journey. I'm actually just about to do my nails right now. So usually when I do my nails, I just have my cotton pads and I have this my nail polish remover which i'm going to talk a little bit more about this later on and then this is the nail polish that i always use so it's the sc uh 05 it's called shears to you okay so i wanted to talk to you a little bit about kind of like my nail journey while i do my nails um it's been quite a journey honestly to say the least and i felt like i should share this because i feel like a lot of girls are probably going through the same thing so I started doing my nails uh, when I was pretty young. I would say I started when I was like around uh, 16, something like that. So yeah, I started doing my nails when I was around 16 or 17 and I started with acrylic nails. And after a few years, I started to develop uh, kind of like an allergy towards acrylic nails. And I'm gonna try to find all the pictures that I can possibly find and insert them while I'm talking about this so that you know what I'm talking about. So my allergy was basically my nail bed would get super itchy, like all over here, super itchy. And then kind of like small bubbles would start to form and then the bubbles would turn into my skin peeling and then at some point i my nails started to really hurt me so i said okay i'm gonna stop acrylic nails and i'm gonna start to do something called biogel which again is very popular i'm sure a lot of girls are getting biogel done so anyway i started to get biogel done and that was a little bit better i don't think i was really experiencing uh, the allergies at first and then after that they started to come back but at this point i was just like whatever i'm just gonna deal with it i would like moisturize my like uh, nail beds as much as i possibly could the thing with my nails is that number one i used to bite my nails all the time i was such a nail biter i just continued to bite my nails and even when i had the acrylic and i had the biogel i would still bite my nails so intensely so they wouldn't even last the two weeks so it even ended up costing me so much money because i had to go back and get them fixed and you know sometimes they would break in like two days which is 
ridiculous like just thinking now about how much money i would spend on these nails is like insane so when i had my wedding coming up i said okay i'm going to get my nails done in egypt and um whatever i'm just gonna find anyone to do like this biogel uh stuff and even if i get the allergic reaction i'll just deal with it just so i can have nice nails for my wedding and then after that i'll take them off and i dealt with it i dealt with it until you know after the wedding and everything and then once she came to take them off after my wedding because i said okay i need to take these off i can't like i can't deal with it anymore my my fingernails were my nail beds sorry were seriously so inflamed like they were so red and it's just like sometimes i just couldn't even like sleep properly because it was so itchy and very irritating like just having that if any of you guys have experienced that reaction before it's insane how irritating it is it's like you can't concentrate on anything else other than your nail beds itching it's crazy i just finished taking off my nail polish so i'm just gonna file my nails briefly i like to do them in like a kind of like a bit of a round shape so kind of like circle but roundish i'm not sure if that makes any sense i came to take off my biogel nails with the same lady and when she was taking them off i truly truly couldn't handle the pain like you know when they do with that filing thing that turns like that electric filing thing my nail beds were so thin that i couldn't handle the heat i at that point stopped getting them done and then we came back here in canada and everything was in lockdown so even if i wanted to get my nails done i didn't have that option so i decided okay i'm really going to make it a point now for me to stop biting my nails because i can't get them done and i don't want them to look like you know like they did i'm gonna try to find a picture and insert it i don't want them to look like that so i was gonna make it a point to stop biting my nails okay so this is it so the brand is called vitri i got this from a shopper's drug mart okay and i put it on my nails and it tastes terrible terrible but as i said i made it a point i said okay i'm really gonna stop biting my nails now and i did i kept putting it on and it tasted terrible every time i would put my nails in my mouth it would taste horrible so i just got sick of it and i stopped biting my nails which was amazing anyway so my nails grew and they became healthy and then as soon as things opened up again we got a little break so i got this girl to do my nails at home and just to put like shellac on them i said okay whatever i'm just gonna put shellac like it's the i felt like it was the least damaging thing i wasn't i was never at that point i was never gonna do biogel again or acrylic again i'm still never going to do that again because how damaged my nails got is insane i think it's 100 percent not worth it so i got this girl to come and do my nails and i did the shellac and instantly the morning after now keep in mind this allergic reaction doesn't come at the point when you come in contact with you know the um nail polish it actually comes the day after the morning after so unfortunately the morning after i woke up and my nail beds were super inflamed i had just like the worst reaction and again super itchy i couldn't take my mind off of it it was very irritating so i took my shellac off and ever since then i've just been doing regular nail polish and honestly i'm pretty happy with it because i it's very relaxing for me to just do it at home i think it's such a like nice pampering process and time for you to take for yourself so yeah that's my nail story now my nails are great they are healthy as i said my nails were super thin like they were like paper thin honestly and ever since i started actually painting my nails and using this they've been very strong and they don't break easily so this is it and i think also my nail polish itself is supposed to be yeah it's a strengthening nail polish so it says strength and color so honestly just get anything and everything that says strength on it that's what i get because i feel like i could use all the help so anyway i'm just gonna continue to do my nails right now i'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like at the end thank you guys so much for watching um i really appreciate it and if you like this video or if this is not your first video from me that you watch then please hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys later bye <laughs>
Et le ciel de Paris a son secret pour lui depuis vingt siècles.